Greetings fellow rangers, Blaze Ranger here, and welcome to episode 6 of my World Series Tour, and today we are going to head off to my XP farm. It's a little bit of a distance away, so we're going to get there by minecart. The sun is... oh, I thought that was a creeper. The sun is... looks like it's just coming up. Yep. And so we're going to head off there and see what there is to see. So, the nice thing about minecarts is you don't actually have to go through the fence. So, the zombie spawner is underground, of course. We generate anywhere on the surface. And it's on the other side of the mountain that was behind the castle. And here we are. Whoa! Don't go up, don't go up. I need you for later. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I shouldn't be using my silk tuck jacks anyways. What's here? No, oh, just some valuables. Okay, so this is where the mine cart stops. Nether portal again. Uh, the way I originally got here was through this tunnel, through this cave system that I discovered. Um, behind This is the one that goes behind the castle. So we have an iron door to keep everything out. The cave system continues on this way. And this ladder actually takes you up to the surface because once I was down here I didn't want to go back through the caves so I got a my I got a tunnel to the surface these chests as you can see I've been mining quite a lot of zombies most of them are empty a lot of them were full until I started discovering that the villagers will take rotten flesh so we go through this system here and Got an endless water supply. Got a compass because I'm down here. Or compass. I have a clock because I'm down here for so long. Sometimes I just like to have an idea what time it is. This is some of the materials that I've been collecting from the zombies. I've been clearing them out as I move them over to my store that's in the castle. Uh, but the one that's over the castle is getting really full too of some of these. I get so much of this stuff. Over here we have an enchanting section when I get XP. As you can see I've got 47 right now. But I can't even think of anything I'd like to enchant. I have some furnaces, an anvil for combining things, ender chest of course. I've got just some materials, 25 diamonds. Um, just materials that I just happen to have for one reason or another. Here's some materials that I'm either going to repair or enchant. Lots of lapis for doing it. And just before we get to that, I'm going to show you... Oops. I have a bed in case I need to set my spawn point. Where the actual XP area is. And it is right here. This is where I stand. Or inside here. And the zombies right through there. You can't see it because it's dark, but we'll go have a look at it in a minute. I have it set up so that I can go in. There's the zombies. What happens is they generate. There's water in there that pushes them this way. And then that, level, that uh, water there starts to drown them. So what they do is they swim up. So what, the, what happens is as they swim up, they get into more water, so they have to keep swimming all the way to the top. And as you can see, it's a fairly efficient farm. And then they come out here, and the water throws them down there. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. Bye-bye, buddy. Phew. So yeah, the water is not spawning anymore because I'm out of range. Oh, that guy's got some leather enchanted armor. So yeah, when I'm down here, I'm in range of the spawner. I can just stand here and collect pretty so you can see they're accumulating. And like I've said, I get tons of armor. I've taken away most of the... Um, what do you call that stuff? Oh, rotten zombie flesh. And while I'm here, I can do some construction. This is a chest I just built while I was building something else. I've got a lot of things because I do a lot of brewing while I'm here. And what I do is I stand here and throw a splash potion of healing on them and it kills them. So if you go to F3, 
And look at the fourth sign down on the left, the le one that starts with E colon. And the number 16, that's how many zombies are in there right now. So if I face a different way, see it says there's five, so there's a bunch of zombies in this direction. I come back here, and now it says 17. So what they do is they accumulate in there. I could stand here and whack them if you want, but it degrades uh, whatever weapon I use. And I usually use stone swords, and I don't have any at the moment. Um, you know, I use a good weapon. I could stand here and beat on them with, with a roast turkey if I wanted. Or, to make it more fun, mine cart, and they'll die, and they'll drop their XP, and I collect it. But everything else that they drop goes into these hoppers, which goes into this chest. And then on the back side here, I have a sorting system. I haven't got it labeled yet, because actually this is a very new build. This one collects zombie flesh, that one collects zombie flesh, because everyone that dies drops zombie flesh. But they don't always drop anything else, so I've got two chests for that. Here's the iron, here's the potatoes, carrots, and everything else. So what I want to do, yeah, part of the, that's part of the mine system, or the cave system where I found this. What I'm going to do is eventually set this up so that when these two chests are full, I really don't need more leather or zombie flesh than that, I'm going to have it spit it out into, I'll have a dispenser hooked up, zombie flesh will go right into a furnace system like this and it'll just burn it up. Excuse me. Now, one of the problems with this original design was that these little guys would come up here. Would they? Would they get in here? But because they're not in the water, it would suck them all the way to the top. So they would just accumulate, and eventually, it just gets filled up with these guys. And little zombie guys give more XP than the big guys. Ah. So I think what happened, and actually what happened one day, I was ex I was just standing here, um, letting the zombies accumulate, and I'd gone and done something else in the house. See that little guy stopping him from going up. So when I stand here, oh, what I'd done is I was standing here, and I think one of these guys, I was just enraged, and he killed me, and that's when I lost my infinity bow. And from all those bows, enchanted bows you saw earlier, I was trying to get one back. Came back here, just made it one more block wide, and I can just stand here. And if I'm going to actually be here, I'll kill these guys myself. Hello, come on. But if I don't want to kill him, I just put that down, and he'll come over thinking it's a platform. Get out of the way, and he'll just drop into the lava. Or not. Come on, back up. Fine. Normally they just drop down there, but it always feels bad when I do the demonstration. What have we got in there now? We have uh, 22, not very many, and we'll just let them sit there for a while and think about what they've done. So what I've got is a light system inside my zombie spawner. So. Right now, I've got redstone lamps, as you can see, that go all around here. I have to come up with a... Hey, you left the door open. Better way of doing this. I'm thinking of putting signs or something. But there is the zombie spawner. They're not coming out right now because I have all these lights turned on, but this water forces them into that area there. Boy, wouldn't that be bad if I fell in here? Because I would go in, the water would suck me up, and it would throw me in that area of those 22 zombies. I don't think I would last too long. But yeah, there's my zombie spawner. Quite safe right now. Uh, like I say, i got the water pushing them away. Close the door. Put the redstone back. Or the nether rack. I use this because it's real easy to break. But they could actually spawn in that area when the lights go out, just on the other side of the door. So I just block it off so there's no room. The redstone runs all the way around. Got redstone repeaters to continue the signal. The zombies are actually right down there. Hi, guys. And as you can see now, now you can see 
you can just see the bottom of the zombie spawner right there. So we'll go and turn the lights out. Let a couple more guys accumulate. There, now it's dark. I always like the gates and doors, because you never know when something's gonna, something weird is going to spawn somewhere. But you don't want it to. So yeah, you can't see it. Well, there's the zombie spawner right there. You can barely see it. There's the redstone lamp. So, what we're going to do is look at do these guys for now. Usually I wait till I have about like 70 or 80. Right at the edge of the 47 experience. Eight. As you get higher, it takes longer and longer. Or if, uh, you need more and more experience. But if I was to have killed those guys with zero experience, I probably would have ended up with, you know, three or four levels already. But here it just barely gave me over half of one. So yeah, so this is my XP farm. It's not much to it. Based on a couple of designs. This part, I, this part is my own modification. Back up. Oh. I just want to open the door. Honest, I just want to... Fine. This is the way I get rid of the rotten flesh too, it just falls in. Not one more guy to come. I just fine be like that. As soon as I close it, he'll show up. So this is my XP farm. I spend a lot of time here. What is it? Oh, it's still morning. And I don't know what else to tell you. So we're going to head off to the end. Yeah, I guess that's a good thing to show you right now. Now this is an interesting trip. Let's see. Let's eat a little. Okay, and away we go. As you can see, I've used a lot of gold to make all these powered rails. Here we are in the open. And this, our castle is just on the other side of that mountain. But this is how we get to the end, and this is how far away it is. Unfortunately, I'm going too fast for the terrain to generate. base camp I had at one point. I love riding on the rail. I got this way by making ice vendor and throwing them in the air. And I had to follow it all this way until I got to the fortress. And then dig down. this way. And here I am. This is the base. I've cleared a lot of this out. It wasn't quite this open. There was, it was really cool because there was, this is the library you find in, an, in a fortress. Hmm. Silverfish, I'll bet. So, but the neat thing was there was two libraries right next to each other. So I've left this one untouched. I don't need the books. So I've left them in here. Just because I like it. Got rid of the cobwebs, of course. And just over there, through here, there was another... Was it over here? No, it was down here. There was another library just at the bottom of these stairs on the right. I haven't been here for a while. Yeah, just in here there was a library. So as you can see, I've gone through, this was the library here. I've gone through, cleared out a lot of stuff. Good thing I didn't leave things behind. Got rid of the doors. The gates, I love those iron gates. Oh, I guess there, okay, I guess there's a few doors left. And of course it connects to all sorts of other things. There's my torches for my way out, because it actually joins up with a ravine somewhere. There it is. Or not a ravine, but just a 
mine shaft and just other cave system. But yeah, I like my torches. They help me find the way out all the time. I just watch for them. Follow that. That's the down arrow. I suppose I could have used an up arrow as well. These send me up the stairs. It's so easy to see how you can get lost down here. I've widened a lot of the path. And of course, another ladder right up to the surface. Because once you get in here and you want to establish a base, the last thing you want to do is go through a massive cave system to try and get out. Down there is more caves and a bit more of the dungeon. Up here is the entrance to the end. And we're not going to go through it right now because this episode is getting quite long. So, but that will be our... I always check to see if I've left anything good. Hmm... Yeah, I guess I don't really need any of that stuff. I like to leave stuff because you never know when you're going to die or when you're just... You, need, you get a little hungry. So yeah, we won't go through that in this episode. But we will go through it in the next one. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for tagging along. And stick around. And tomorrow or next episode, we are going to go to the end. Bye for now. <laughs>